everybody. In today's lesson, lesson 11.7, we're on page 545 of the second grade Go Math textbook. And our lesson today is titled Partition Rectangle. And basically, we're trying to find how many same size squares will cover our rectangle. So get your bag of color tiles, okay, and take out several tiles. Um, it looks like I'm going to use five. And I want you to trace around those after you make a shape. Okay. I think I'm just going to make a long rectangle. It doesn't matter what you make. <clears throat> okay. So. All right. So I have five rectangles, uh, five color tiles. I'm going to trace around them. It's a little hard. If you have trouble with this, have a partner help you hold the tiles down as you trace around. Okay. All right. And then you can trace each individual square. So we just see how many we had when we started. I mean, how many uh, color tiles you use to make your shape. Okay, so that's my shape. So I have five color tiles and I was able to make a rectangle out of it. Now let me ask you a question. <clears throat> Using those same tiles that you have to make this shape, could you make a square? out of your tiles okay so let's see let's see so i know it's a uh, square has same side length sides on all four sides so like that that would be a square right we have two rows of two but when i add my fifth one i no longer have a square what if i took a sixth tile now, it looks like it's even, right? But this is not a square, right? This is three rows of two. So what would I have to do to make it into a square? I'd have to add another column of three. Okay, so I'd have to have three rows of three. <clears throat> what if I had... Something like this, three rows of four. Would that be a square? No, now it's longer, right, this way than it is this way. So I'd have to add another row of four to make the square. Okay, so now we have four rows of four, so we have equal sides, okay? So were you able to make a square based on the number of tiles you took out? All right, let's look at page 546. So trace around color tiles. How many square tiles cover this rectangle? So they've done that for us with the dashed lines. So if we put square tiles here, we'd see that we have one there, right? One there, and so on, right? So we have two rows of three for a total of six square tiles. All right, now use square tiles to cover this rectangle and trace around them. All right, so here we have one. Okay, we have a second one. a third, and a fourth. So in this one, we have two rows of two for a total of four squares. In this one, okay, I'm going to have one row on this one. Okay, so we have one row of three. 
for a total of four, three square tiles. Let's look at page 547. Use color tiles to cover this rectangle and trace around the square tiles and write how many. All right, so I see one, two. Actually, this the drawing in here, they didn't make the rectangle large enough. So I'm going to go ahead and call it two rows. But it does extend past the drawing. Okay. So I'm going to say two rows. And how much do I have in each row? It looks like I'm going to have three in each row. Okay. So we have two rows of three for a total of six square tiles. And how about this final one? Okay, so we can only get one row. And we're only going to be able to get two columns for a total of two. All right, and then the last one. Mary started to cover this rectangle with one's blocks. Explain how you would estimate the number of blocks that would cover the whole rectangle. All right, so basically we need to finish filling this out, right? So I'm just going to use a square tile just to draw a line just to see. Okay, so we're still going to have three columns. Now it looks like if I divide this in half, I would have two. My line's not quite straight, is it? Let's try that again. Okay. So I would recommend, or not recommend, <laughs> I would predict that it would be six squares, two, two or more rows of three. I would estimate. Two more rows of three would complete the rectangle, would cover the rectangle. So I could have put one finger here and then moved up. Oh, okay, one. Okay, I can get two more fingers this way, right? And so if there's two this way, I know it has to be three because every row has three columns. Okay, so two rows of three. All right, so that's it for lesson 11.7. So until our next lesson, I will see you soon.